Hello, my name is Drew Danielson. I'm part of Cohort 16 at the Guildhall at SMU. And this is a video tutorial, part one, on how to make a smoke particle effect in UDK. The version of UDK that we are using is the May 2011 version. Now the first thing we need to do is make a texture in Photoshop, which we'll then apply to our material that we'll be using in our particle effect. So we want to make a new document, 512 by 512 pixels, say OK. Then we're going to want to fill in the background with all black and make a new layer. Then go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And then we're going to want to take our smudge tool, make the brush nice and big, and then start to smudge it slightly. Not too much or we'll start to lose too many details. It'll just be just this blob. But once we got a nice smudge on it, then we'll add a layer mask. Then select a brush, preferably one with a nice feather on it. And then we're just using black to paint in the edges. And that will give us a nice soft edge on our cloud. And we could take this further, experimenting with more smudging. But that's going to do for now. So we're going to say save as. And then we want to save this as a Targa because that is what UDK reads. Go ahead and save that as 24 bits per pixel. Say OK. All right, and then we are going to be ready to import this into UDK, which we'll pick up on our next video.